Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Solution from what we have here. Here, we can write this as x times x. That becomes x squared. And also here, 2 times 2, we have 2 squared. Then equals 2. Here as well, we have 2 times 2. That's 2 squared. Then over also x times x, that gives us x square the next step from here we can cross multiply then we have x square times x square then equals to 2 square times 2 squared from here then this follows from the law of indices a raised to power m times a raised to power n this will give us a raised to power m plus n that is what we have here same thing as x raised to power 2 plus 2 which is 4 then also equals to 2 raised to power 2 plus 2 which is 2 raised to power 4 then here we can take 2 raised to power 4 to the left hand side and we have x raised to power 4 minus 2 raised to power 4 equals to zero from here then here this can be written as x square then squared as 2 times 2 here will be 4 then minus also 2 squared then squared here equals to 0 from here then this follows from when we have a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a minus b that is from what we have here a same thing as x square and b same thing as 2 square then this equation becomes x square plus 2 square into bracket then also open bracket x square minus 2 square then equals to zero from here that is here we have two possible cases we have x square plus two square equals to zero or we have x square minus two square equals to zero from here then on this side the same thing as x square plus two square as four equals to zero then we have x square equals to minus 4 from here. Then we take the square root on both sides and we have square root of x square equals to square root of minus 4. Then here square cancel square root, we have x equals to plus or minus root 4 times minus 1 here. Which is the same thing as x equals to plus or minus root 4 times root minus 1. Then root 4 here, that's 2. Then we have x equals to plus or minus 2. Then root minus 1 is i, which is a complex number. So here we have two solutions from here. Then on this side here, this also follows from a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b then what we have here becomes x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 then equals to 0 from here which implies here we have two cases that is x plus 2 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 equals to 0. That is here, on this side, we have x equals to minus 2 here. This is a real solution. And also here, this gives us x equals to 2 from here, which is also a real solution. Now, all together here, we have four solutions here which are x1 from here, minus 2, 
then x2 here equals to 2 then we have x3 equals to 2i then x4 equals to minus 2i so here we have these four solutions to this given problem then when we substitute this into what we have to check if this will satisfy the given problem from here from the first solution which is x1 equals to minus 2 when we substitute minus 2 here what we have become minus 2 over 2 times minus 2 over 2 is equals to 2 over minus 2 times 2 over minus 2 then here what this give us minus 2 over 2 this is minus 1 and times also minus 1 here is equals to here this also give us minus 1 times minus 1 the minus 1 times minus 1 give us 1 equals to also minus 1 times minus 1 give us 1 now we have left hand side equals to right hand side then x equals to minus 2 satisfies this given problem in the same way for x equals to 2 when we substitute x equals to 2 here as well then what we have here we become 2 over 2 then multiply by 2 over 2 is it equals to 2 over 2 times 2 over 2 of course yeah this is 1 times 1 is it equals to 1 times 1 and 1 times 1 is 1 which is equals to also 1 times 1 here 1 left hand side equals to right hand side and here s equals to 2 also satisfies this given problem also for x3 which is equals to 2i then what we have here becomes 2i over 2 times 2i over 2 is equals to 2 over 2i times 2 over 2i then when we look at this here these two cancel each other and we have i times i left here then equals to also we have 1 over i times 1 over i left here then what we have here i times i that's i square then is it equals to yeah this multiply and 1 times 1 that's 1 and i times i that's i square that's 1 over i square is it equals to each other here then we should recall that since root minus 1 equals to i when we take the square on both sides it means minus 1 will be equals to i square so i square is minus 1 so we can see here we have minus 1 and is it equals to 1 over minus 1 then here this is minus 1 equals to minus 1 left hand side equals to the right hand side so x3 equals to 2i satisfy this given problem now in the same way for the x4 which is equals to minus 2 high when we substitute here also what we have becomes minus 2i over 2 times minus 2i over 2 is equals to 2 over minus 2i then times 2 over minus 2i then what we have here this reduced to minus i times minus i is equals to here this reduced to minus 1 over i times minus 1 over i then minus then minus that's plus so we see how i square and is equals to here also minus times minus that's plus and this will give us 1 over i square and since i square is minus 1 so we have minus 1 equals to 1 over minus 1 and this is minus 1 equals to minus 1 left hand side equals to the right hand side hence from here we have these four solutions satisfying this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps 
subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell see you next class and bye for now